Tonight on Adjuster TV, a very slick and very fast shortcut for labeling photos in Xactimate, learn the difference between the 409 and the 112 shingle gauges, a recap of the National Association of Independent Insurance Adjusters conference in Hilton Head this September. It was already pretty good, but Hover.to has added some amazing functionality to their service. We've got our own version of the Academy Awards for the independent insurance industry the Swedish shortcut checklist that doubles as a mouse pad. And as always, your independent adjuster weather with Maxwell P. Olson. But first, it's time for the NACA Minute. The 2021 storm season is on the wane. Whether you're a new adjuster or you've been doing this for a while, you have to take advantage of the off season to bone up on your core skills, pick up some daily desk or photo and scope work, or bartending if that's your thing you remember that big thing that happened recently that i don't want to talk about in case my channel gets flagged that caused most conferences and conventions to be canceled in the last 18 months or so but not the naca convention which popped off without a hitch and with higher than expected attendance from adjusters and i firms last january yes you can and absolutely will meet people at pretty much any conference training or function that you attend but what makes the naca event unique is that you can schedule short meetings aka a job interviews with every firm that's attending, which means that all of the major firms and most of the smaller, but just as important firms. Compared to hot footing it all over the country all year attending events, it's a steal at twice the price, if you ask me. And by the way, you don't have to be a member to attend the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters Convention, but membership does have its benefits. I'm Tara High, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. And I am a baby in adjusting. So I um, just got my license in December. In any endeavor I take on, it's, I want to do it absolutely the very best I can. And so understanding that this field is a bit of a challenge, so I've heard to, to break into, you know, what are some ways that I can, you know, get some networking and get my face out there so that I can not just have my name on rosters, but actually you know, get training and get deployed. So I felt like this was gonna be, you know, really a, the best way to get in front of folks that mattered. I'm amazed really at how nice everyone is and helpful. Um, it's, it's been and a lot of fun, but also very informative learning, you know, but it's, I've really been impressed with how nice everyone is. My name is Laura Sanford, and I'm from the Joplin, Missouri area. So we kind of joke that I'm centrally isolated. <laughs> So here I am at NACA, and I'm getting to meet a lot of different, just different adjusters, and what I can learn sitting out in the hallway from them, it's been kind of, it, it's been a good experience there. But then to meet the different companies and get to introduce myself and hand them a resume, I hope it goes somewhere. But uh, yeah, it's, it's been a great experience. Just the fact that you get to meet so many people in one spot, and then all the classes that they're offering too, and they've scheduled them out in level one, level two, level three. So it depends on your experience level as to what path you take on classes. So they're offering for everybody. Uh, Tom Balecki, uh, Vice President of Training and Development with the Best Claim Solutions. We're in the middle of a rebrand, formerly the Best IRS. Uh, so it's a very exciting time for us. For us, it's actually a couple of different reasons. One, it's a great way to introduce the company and our services to the adjusters, uh, to the people that we work with. The other is always, uh, it's important to, to see what's going on in the industry. Anytime you're a member of a national organization, it's exposure, it's training, it's education. All of those things are really important. Adjusters learning their craft, companies learning how to better provide a level of service that exceeds their customers' expectations. And for each of us, just learning about the uh, the industry and, and what the trends are, what the future will bring. And speaking of benefits, for discounts on lodging gear, training, licensing, and CE, as well as one-on-one -on -one mentorships, join NACA right now at nacatadj.org. And of course, the convention is an outstanding place to network and one of the best places to interview with dozens and dozens of IA firms all in one place. Hey, Matt here with Adjuster TV and for the best tips, tools, and training for becoming a first call adjuster, subscribe now. You wanna help this channel? Hit the bell thing and the little like button. You can even hit the dislike button and leave me a nasty comment. Believe it or not, those two actually will help the channel grow.
Adjust Your TV is brought to you by Pacesetter Claim Service. For more information, head on over to adjustertv.com slash pacesetter. e provider Kaplik, download the free insurance for adjusters guide at cplic.net slash adjustertv. Hague Education, use coupon code adjustertv at checkout for a discount on just about anything at hagueeducation.com. US Tape, again, use coupon code adjustertv for a discount on literally anything at ustape.com. And Eberl Claim Service, apply now at eberls.com. Thank you to all our sponsors and everybody who watches and supports Adjuster TV. We could not do this without you. Coming up, the mouse pads you didn't know you can't live without. Get long measurements with the best, most durable tapes for commercial and industrial use. That means you, Adjuster. Use code ADJUSTERTV at checkout for a discount on anything at ustape.com. Are you interested in more than just punching a clock and paying the bills? Wouldn't you rather be on the A-team surrounded by the best of the best in the industry? Then you need to check out Eberl Claim Service. For well over 30 years, Eberl's philosophy of treating adjusters as they wish to be treated has allowed them to establish a vast network of the most professional, educated, and dedicated adjusters in the industry. So at Eberl, you're in good company. If you're a motivated and compassionate adjuster slash claims professional, Eberl wants you to represent their organization. Go to jobs.eberls.com right now and get started with Eberl Claim Service. Ah, the mouse pad. These days, not exactly totally necessary until you sit down at the Starbucks to wrap up your claims for the day and your mouse won't work on the shiny metal table. So whose idea was the mouse pad anyway? Well, according to Wikipedia, that most trusted of sources, during a 1968 presentation by Douglas Engelbart, marking the public debut of a mouse, Engelbart used a control console designed by Jack Kelly of the furniture design company Herman Miller that included a keyboard and an inset portion used as a support area for the mouse. Jack Kelly designed the first mouse pad a year later in 1969. And by the way, Herman Miller is not only responsible for the Eames and Aeron chairs, but also the cubicle. Well, if Jack Kelly invented it, then Storm Richardson improved it. Enter the Storm Life Xactimate Desk Mat. The desk mat features the most common roof types, making it easier to get started with your sketching and estimating by starting with the correct roof type. It also includes roof components. The main roof image includes the most common roof components and labels showing you where and what they are. The Storm Life Xactimate mat also includes the most commonly used category and selector codes for Xactimate, relevant to working roofs and residential exteriors. And of course, my favorite, Xactimate shortcut keys. Storm couldn't fit all of the shortcut keys on the mat, but he added the ones that you're going to use the most. And learning these shortcuts, again, as always, is a big factor in turning out quality estimates much more quickly. Increase your efficiency while writing estimates in Xactimate and increase your cycle times and profits. These things are super popular and tend to sell out quickly, so jump over to his store and pick up yours today. The link is in the description below where you're watching this video. Coming up, get an inside look at the NAIIA conference. You ever feel like you've been thrown to the wolves by the IA firms you work for, like you're just a number on a roster? Wouldn't it be nice to work with a firm who's big enough to get plenty of work, but still small enough to know you by your first name? Then let me tell you about my friends at the Oklahoma-based IA firm, Pacesetter Claim Service. Founded in 1997, the thing that sets Pacesetter apart is their relentless pursuit of excellence. They hold themselves and their team of adjusters to a higher standard of quality. And now with their advanced all-in-one claims platform called Evo, you'll get a real-time Uber-style map and communication link to the insured, automatic messages sent to customers throughout the process, file review automation, and a fast, accurate scope with Paysetter's partnership with Hover. Hover is integrated directly into Evo, making for a smooth and seamless field scoping experience for you as the adjuster. Technology is moving faster than ever, and Paysetter is right there at the cutting edge. And Paysetter is bringing training to a city near you. Check out their summer tour dates at adjustertv.com slash Paysetter. Adjust your TV there, buddy. 
Hi, my name is Steve Jones with Carfax. I'm the strategic claim solution consultant with Carfax and our banking and insurance group. Uh, we're here at the NAIIA conference here to talk about solutions that Carfax offers for the claims industry. So hello, my name is Tristan Nadeski. I'm the vice president of Central Claim Services. My name is Joel Moore. I'm the owner operator of Champions Insurance Services in Houston, Texas. Hi, I'm Crystal Cunningham. And and I am with Claim Professionals Liability Insurance Company. I am the underwriting manager, and we write errors and omissions and general liability for independent insurance adjusters. I'm Kerry Bond. I'm the head of claims for the Americas for Lloyds, and a lot of people refer to it as Lloyds of London, but the uh, correct nomenclature is Lloyds. I'm at Gala I'm with Legal Language Services. Our company provides uh, foreign language litigation services. I'm Jeff Poley. I'm the sales director for RTH Nationwide Housing out of St. Petersburg, Florida. We're a temporary housing company. I'm Grace Lester. I'm the business development associate in line consulting and engineering services. We are a building consulting and forensic engineering company in the insurance industry. My name is Jesse Gibson. I'm a corporate account manager with Adjuster Pro. We do online pre-licensing, test prep, and continuing education for adjusters. Hello, my name is Larry Norman. I'm the proprietor of L.W. Norman & Associates. We're a multi-line adjusting and investigative firm. My name is Lindsay Beam, and I am the director of client relations for BSC Forensics. Um, BSC is based out of Houston, Texas, and we provide forensic engineering, all disciplines from civil, structural, electrical, and mechanical engineering, and then we also provide fire origin cause services. My name is Matt Coyle. I am the vice president of sales for Commercial Restaurant company, CRC, and we are a nationwide provider of property damage restoration of commercial buildings due to hurricanes, tornadoes, fires, floods, and natural disasters. Hi, I'm Rusty Wilkinson and I'm the director of training and biosweep services. And what we do is we do just one thing, but we do it very well. We can remove any organic odor from anything using no chemicals, 100% green, 100% environmentally safe. I am the past, now past president of the National Association of Independent Insurance Adjusters. I've been a member for 10 years. I uh, came to know the association, my, my then employer. I had no knowledge of the association before I worked for him. And when I found out everything about this group, it was the greatest thing ever because I was working with people just like me. Small companies, individuals who had the same skill set that I did and were just interested in talking shop and being a better adjuster. We recognize the industry is going to change. We're recognizing that we need much more uh, hands-on education, whether it be with anything technical or any new opportunity through the industry, through tools of the industry that we can implement. The National Association of Independent Insurance Adjusters is an organization that's near and dear to my heart. My background is I spent 10 years as an independent adjuster. I learned a lot, learned about client servicing, uh, servicing the customer, and it prepared me for the role I'm in now. I was invited to speak to talk about Lloyd's and I welcome the opportunity to be here to do that. To be able to speak to a community of professionals that, that service the, the policy holding public and provide a service that, that's unique and it can only be done in a fashion that services the industry. Bringing Lloyd's forward to outline the standards that we see that will grow our market and service our customers, it was an honor to have presented it here. So thank you. When we started the company, the NAIIA got together to, to determine what coverage that adjusters needed. So we, they helped start the company, and we continue to support them as well, and we come to their conferences. So we know several people, uh, Kathy Hester in general, to start with, known her for several years uh, through other organizations, and we work a lot with the uh, insurance adjusters, helping them get their statements on, um, you know, 
whether it's out on a midnight, out on country road with an accident or some storm catastrophic, you know, something like that. So we wanted to be part of that and help you guys, um, you know, get your statements and however we can help with the non-English speaking um, claimants. So we were invited to, uh, to you know, be involved, and here we are. This is actually our first year doing the uh, doing this conference, and I will say we've been having a lot of fun. You know, we just our business is meeting adjusters and being able to help them with the burden if they have to use somebody in temporary housing. And I understand that a lot of uh, you know a lot of independents don't really get into it, but we know that there's plenty that do, and we're here to help them. One of the main things that NAIIA offers is the family values that they encourage all of their members to both embody and also that all of their members are mostly family-oriented companies in general. So we are also a family-oriented and family-based company. We have those values and we also are small but also growing like most of these companies that we see today and around this conference. So one of the things we've seen at this conference is not only people that we know but people that we don't know and getting to know just new faces and old friends and just building those foundational relationships because that's what business is, is building those relationships and making those friends that we see all over. Adjuster Pro is at the NAIIA conference. Because this conference does such a service to the industry, it really brings a bunch of parties together. Uh, it's a chance for us to all connect and to learn and improve the claims process for both companies and for individuals. And it really benefits Adjuster Pro because we can connect with other firms, make it easier for their adjusters to get licensed and keep up to date on their licensing. And compliance is really important to our customers because it makes sure they can keep their adjusters licensed in the field so they can fulfill their obligations to their clients. First of all, it's an opportunity to truly network. I have met and enjoyed the relationships that I have fostered through the years. Some of the people that are members of this association have been members since the, uh, I originally joined over 30 years ago. And every time I look forward to renewing our acquaintances and we get to see one another at this major convention every year. So this is an opportunity to see, renew acquaintances and network, talk about the common issues that we face and assist one another in trying to do what we do best deliver the promises of the insurance contract to the general public and reach the expectations of the insurance industry. We just love to build relationships and we are starting to grow. Um, eventually we'll be on the national level, so I'm just trying to branch out to different areas and different conferences to, to get our name out there and our brand out there. Well, we decided to attend this conference this year uh, for the reason of meeting with some new adjusters and uh, adjusting companies, maybe some smaller companies that treat their clients a little bit more of a boat boutique way. We're a smaller company that really wants to work with our clients, become a partner with them, and not so much just a vendor or commodity. And we want to really help them through the process, and we feel like this would be a good show to meet uh, those type of clients with. Well, we're new, so being here today is a huge benefit. And I know a lot of people that I've worked with in the past, so it was kind of nice to see those faces again, but to be in a different position. And so it allowed me to kind of say, hey, you know, I don't have to keep my words real sweet now. Now I can literally speak my mind on certain things that are important and, and that are changing. We came to this conference this week just to connect with the industry uh, and find some new, new, new inroads in, uh, in the automotive claim cycle where we could help uh, expand uh, and assist with helping claims organizations with their claims investigative tools, as well as helping com keep their communities and roads safer. I'm excited to be a part of this, and I'm excited to keep growing with this organization. I mean, it's really something special. I feel like I'm a part of the family already, which is really good. So it was a pleasure and an honor to be invited to speak, and it was also a pleasure and honor to have spoken. So um, I was glad to be here. Thank you for inviting me. I hope to be back again. The industry changes, we will continue to change. Uh, more and more younger members of the association will direct us in that path, we recognize it. And uh, we'll, we'll continue on, it's 84 years for a reason. It has been able, to, been able to move from the time when claims were handled by attorneys, through the depression, through the Second World War, and all the other problems that we've had, we're still here. So it's, uh, it's, great. it's a great organization. 
To learn more about the National Association of Independent Adjusters, head on over to NAIIA.com. And up next, how to get full 3D sketches in Xactimate ESX form from Hover. And later, watch the fastest photo labeling yet. 165 photos labeled in less than 10 minutes. Being a claim adjuster can be a rewarding experience, helping people during a time of need. However, that experience can quickly turn in the form of claims or lawsuits made against you. Facing a lawsuit can be a terrifying and stressful experience, jeopardizing years of hard work and success. If you don't have adequate insurance coverage, you are putting yourself at great financial risk. Don't stand alone. Let Kaplik stand with you. At Kaplik, we provide financial security and peace of mind through our insurance products designed specifically for the independent claim adjuster. What makes Kaplik unique is our industry-leading expertise in providing guidance, risk management, and support to reduce your risk, protect your reputation, and maintain client relationships. Unlike other insurance providers, our coverage is straightforward and easy to understand, tailored exclusively for claim adjusters and insurance service firms. Our in-house expertise and experienced staff understand the nuances of the adjusting industry a difference you'll feel and understand from the moment you contact us. After all, Kaplik was founded and continues to be run by independent adjusters, just like you. We handle everything so you don't have to. From individual adjusters to national leaders, Kaplik is there for you. With Kaplik, you're not just a policyholder, you're an owner. Kaplik is member owned and member run, which means that you get a say in how we best serve you. If you make your living as an independent claim adjuster, stop paying for generic or inadequate coverage that may not fully protect you. Join the Kaplik family for a personalized experience. Premiums start at surprisingly affordable prices for all of the coverage you need. For a fast quote, apply online now at www.cplic.net slash apply. This is Adjuster TV. We've decided to go upstairs and kind of start in this room, which Correct. you know we're maybe we're thinking that the smoke was coming out of from that direction and it kind of hit this this side of the house first. But it just in a logical sense, it makes sense for us to start here. How are we going to start our scope? And what are we going to put on our scope sheet for what we would do to this room? So what we do in this room is. This is upstairs bedroom, mm -hmm. right? So on my scope sheet, I would write upstairs bedroom. So yes, but so there's different kinds of water damage that we can find in a house and it's based on kind of the source of the water. So if you could talk a little bit about, you know, what the differences are between the sources of water. Right, so, so they consider them to be categories, right? So the supply line to the sink breaks and water gets out and gets onto the carpet. I can lift that carpet, replace the pad, put the carpet back down, clean the carpet, and I'm good. Um, clean water might land on the vinyl sheet goods, okay? I might be able to save that just by cleaning the floors. When you first call an insured for the first time, or you got a big stack of them to call homeowners, that can be a little bit stressful, you right? You think? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey man, I'm I'm here to call and I need you to, I'm coming to your house. I'll be there in 15 minutes. I'll be there in 15 minutes. No, I can't see you for three weeks. So, you know, that's just the way it is. Yeah. I'm busy. No, not really. Um, <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. This is a plastic piece that helps catch the runoff wet rainwater from uh, your windshield. And a lot of times these can get punctured or cracked. So I'm gonna check these two things real quick. And then I'm gonna move on to this first side panel here, which is the fender. And I'm gonna kind of go back here. I'm gonna use my lines, move back and forth. And I can see there's quite a few dents on this panel and there's a few oversized dents as well. The majority of the dents on this panel from what I'm seeing are quarter sized and I might even whip this out just to get a better view of kind of what I'm looking at. And I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, at least five or six oversized dents. So I'm gonna be writing all right, check this out. Hover has added the ability to include walls in your ESX. What does that mean and why is it such a big deal? If you're working your way through a huge pile of hail claims, you'll inevitably have some fascia and siding claims as well. 
one or more elevations of sighting are going to need to be replaced. Now, instead of having to measure by hand or transpose the measurements from the hover report into Xactimate, you can just merge the full 3D sketch into your claim file in Xactimate and estimate to your heart's content. But first, you have to be sure that you select the full 3D capture when you start the inspection. You can't go back and do it later. So open up your hover app and start a new capture and put the name and all this info and then under deliverable, select complete 3D. Then start your capture as usual. Then once you've completed your capture and have downloaded the ESX, you can follow the directions in this video. In this short demo, we're going to show you the easiest way to import Hover's ESX file into Xactimate. When your property is ready, you'll receive an email with a link to the ESX file. Click on the link to download the file and save it in your preferred location. If prompted to open up the file automatically after downloading it, do not open the file. Save it instead. Alternatively, you can download the file from the Property Details page in the web app by clicking on Export selecting ESX, and clicking on the Request button. Then open Xactimate, and drag the file from the location where you have saved it into your Projects folder. Tap on Close in the Transfer Results dialog. If you don't see the full Transfer Results dialog, click anywhere in the dialog box and press the Escape key. Now first, tap the box next to the Hover ESX file, and then tap the box next to your Source file. Tap on the Merge icon once it appears. Tap Next, and Finish. Now open the Sketch tab in the Source file. If you see more than one sketch, make sure to select the one that contains the merged content. You're all set. You're ready to start creating your estimate. And don't forget, you can chat with Hover's support team in the app, via email, or over the phone. We're here to help. Check out hover.to to get signed up if you haven't already. And speaking of devilishly helpful apps, Matt B from adjpic.com has a really sweet little program that will allow you to label photos with super short text shortcuts. Check out this video to see how it works. All right, we are going to label some photos using adjpic.com. It's, it's an AI program. It's initials or abbreviations. You type them in and it will automatically type out the full sentence or words for you. Let's jump in, get started. BWO AV. Single gauge, single layer with a drip edge. Pitch. Run slope overview. S square. So test square, no damage. Well, we do have some blistering and some granular loss, so let's put that in there. And then overview. Um, no visual damage, NVD. Boom, there it is. Transition photo, always great, so you don't have to zoom in. Find out where you went from one slope to the next. So let's start with the rear slope. Uh, rear slope overview, test square, rear slope test square, no damage, we do have blistering, oops, we do have blistering, and some granular loss, rear slope overview, rear dormer, we got a little wind damage, Image. Skylight cladding is fine. No visual damage. Blue cap. MVD moving over to the elevation. Let me see. Front elevation. FE minus. No damage. We go a little more detailed. There's their front porch. D minus. Right elevation, no damage. RE minus, rear elevation. Oh, let me see. Oh, look at that. RTE. 
Ah, there we go. Right elevation. Rear elevation. No damage. Again, you can go a little deeper if you want. You can talk about window screens, gutters, downspouts. All the code is in there, but for this one, it's just the deck. So D minus indicating no damage. Last one. Left elevation, no damage. AC, NVD, no visual damage. There we go. So there's 62 photos labeled pretty quick, full description. Check it out, adjpick.com. You know, people look at me sideways or tell me I'm full of it when I say that I write the whole claim file up on site, especially on hail claims, but also on large water losses. I've been closing claims on site since 1999, and we didn't have any of the apps that you people have today that take most of the tedious busy work out of building and closing a claim. There are even fewer excuses not to close claims on site, and it's absolutely unacceptable to not close every claim you have the same day you inspect it with the tech that we have available to us now. I don't care if the fee bills seem to be lower, you can do more quality claims every day, so I don't wanna hear your belly aching. Coming up, what's the difference between the two Hague shingle gauges and which one should you use? These days, there are a growing number of remote work opportunities for independent adjusters. With scoper writer programs popping up all over the place, you can do photo and scope in the field or you can just sit at home in your pajajays and write the estimates on what the scoper got when they were out in the field. And it doesn't matter where you live, as long as you have the internet, you can write claims as a desk adjuster, but you can't get that sweet gig without being licensed. So if you live in Nebraska, which doesn't require an adjuster to be licensed, you still have to have a New York license to write claims somebody scoped in New York, makes sense? Of all the credentials you need as an adjuster, there really is none more important than your adjuster license, especially your first one. You're gonna need it to do just about everything else, including some adjuster schools even require you to have one before they'll let you enroll. So you need Adjuster Pro. Adjuster Pro provides a comprehensive and easy to use way to get and maintain your adjuster licenses. Most importantly, Adjuster Pro was founded by independent adjusters and the team at Adjuster Pro is dedicated to helping you thrive as an adjuster with resources for every licensing state, including dead simple CE packages. Adjuster Pro is the gold standard for adjuster licensing. You'll find everything you need to get licensed in one place. Go to adjustertv.com slash adjusterpro right now. You know, there seems to be a little bit of confusion out there over these two shingle gauges. First, what's a shingle gauge? And why do you need both of these in your gear bag? A shingle gauge is designed to give you an idea of the warranty of a given roof. So if you jump up on an architectural, AKA laminated shingled roof, you're gonna to wanna to know how long that roof is warranted to last. The basic laminated roof is a 30 year, but there are plenty of 40 year and 50 year or even lifetime shingles that can be found on roofs. And why does this matter? Because you're most likely going to have to depreciate the roof on your estimate, especially for a total replacement. If you have a five-year-old 30-year warrantied roof, you're gonna depreciate that roof by about 17%, right? But then you call the insured back to settle up. And during your explanation of depreciation, the guy goes, no, 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 nope, back up. That's a 50-year roof. The depreciation should be 10% instead of 17%. Never mind the fact that you paid him for a 30 year when he's got a 50 year and that can be a significant price difference on your estimate. So what do you do? Take his word for it? No, you can ask him for a copy of the invoice for when he had the roof replaced. And believe it or not, most people who spend a lot of money on a roof upgrade will keep the receipts. Also, he might have an extra bundle or three hiding somewhere in the garage and that will say right on the wrapper what the warranty is. Or you can use a shingle gauge. But what about this 112 and 409? The 112 is a short one, the 409 is a long one. Well, not to get too deep in the weeds on this, but those are actually dates. You use the 409 for any roof installed before January 2011. And so if you've got a, you know, a 1999 roof, you're gonna use the long one. And you use the 112 on any roof installed after January 2011. Okay, makes sense. This has something to do with recent improvements in materials that give a thinner shingle a longer lifespan and thus a better warranty. These days, you're gonna see a lot of lifetime shingles and how much should you depreciate those? Don't ask me or your manager. 
look in your estimating guidelines. If you don't see it in there, then you can call or email your manager to ask. And that's your IA manager, not the carrier manager. As far as I know, Haig is the only company making a shingle gauge like this. So visit HaigEducation.com to pick up your gauges, books, trainings, and certifications. And don't forget to use coupon code ADJUSTERTV at checkout for a discount. Coming up after the break, the Academy Awards of Adjusting. Well, not exactly. Plus, your independent adjuster weather with Max Olson. As an independent adjuster, do you feel like you only have bad, expensive choices for health insurance plans? And when you have to use the insurance, you'll have to pay a lot out of pocket? Makes you wonder why you even have insurance in the first place. The stakes are high. Having no coverage puts you and your family at risk. It doesn't have to be this way. You want peace of mind with common sense health coverage you can count on that doesn't include things you don't need. You need real insurance with world-class protection from established carriers, not health sharing and not cobbled together prepaid medical. And you shouldn't have to wait for it. Get approved in days, not weeks. There is no risk and no cost to see if you qualify for these high quality plans. Not everybody will qualify, but you've got nothing to lose by getting a free consultation. Visit adjustertv.com slash health for more information and to apply. This is Adjuster TV. In a world where bad weather destroys property, only the Adjuster can save the day. Announcing the Adjuster Awards. Forget about the red carpet, the expensive dresses, the bad speeches, and the woke politics. We've got our own awards just for the independent insurance industry. To nominate a person or a company in one or more of the nine categories, hop on over to adjusterawards.com right now. The winners will be announced at the Adjuster Job Fair in January. Haven't heard of the Adjuster Job Fair? Go to adjusterjobfair.com to get signed up for this powerhouse virtual recruiting event. And speaking of powerhouses, here is Max Olson to give us the weather just the way we like it, with a little fire. Get it? Because he's, you know the... Thanks, Matt. Here's some news stories that you won't find in your morning newspaper. Get, get it? Because Matt, Matt's kind of old, so he might still read the, the, the newspaper. Now, you might be wondering why I'm doing the news from in my car, and it's because, well, I'm busy, as I hope many of you are. I've got a ton of claims, and I have no time to stop and shoot a video, Matt, so I'm going to do it while I'm working. I'm going to work while I work. But there also wasn't that much to talk about this September. We haven't had any major landfalling hurricanes. We did have one that became a hurricane right at the last minute. It was Hurricane Nicholas. It was a tropical storm as it made its way towards the East Texas coast and then briefly strengthened to a category one hurricane just before landfall. A little bit of wind damage down there, but mostly flooding effects, some work for the local guys down there and then continued to go into Louisiana where there's already obviously a ton of work from Ida. Now we did have one big severe wind and hail day that was on september 7th in places like illinois wisconsin michigan we had hail in excess of 2.5 inch in diameter on multiple storms some severe wind and hail on that but after that there really wasn't a whole lot just some sporadic low-end events here and there and um, you know what? that's okay because the industry as a whole right now is absolutely crazy i'm doing daily claims right now and i am absolutely jam-packed with inspections right now hence why i'm doing this i mean i really have never seen it this busy uh, i've only been doing this side of the industry for three years but this is by far the most volume i've ever had and there's a ton of volume from hurricane ida all the way stretching from louisiana to new england there's just claims all to be had and there's a ton of companies looking for people to go out and handle work for them. We're about to speak to Roy Rivera. He's down in Louisiana on his first ever deployment. He just became an adjuster this year and he's going to tell us about what it's like down there. My name is Roy Rivera. I'm a recent graduate of the IA Path Auto Adjuster course and just started my new career. Fantastic. And how did you find out about the IA Path or adjusting world? What, what kind of led to that? I actually found out about it in 2018. I don't remember how I came across it, but I came across it somehow. And then one of the first websites I came across was IA Path. I knew they had a podcast. So I started listening and it seemed like a gold mine, but it took me a little while to jump in. When I graduated, it was the 3rd of either August or September. And when I graduated, I wasn't quite ready because I still had my old beater car. 
from my old job. So I wasn't ready to hit the road. And I bought my car about three weeks ago. And the day I drove up, I got a call from an uh, IA firm and they offered me a job for a deployment on Hurricane Ida. And what you, so you live in Louisiana? Yes, sir. I live in Lafayette, Louisiana. So you were, you're in close proximity and you knew that that was like ready to go. And, and did you reach out to any firms or did somebody just contact you? No, I actually didn't think that I was going to be able to work the hurricane because I haven't got my uh, license yet. But they, uh, in a firm got in contact with me, told me that it was not going to be an issue. And I started that weekend. Do the clients that you're working for need more adjusters down there? Uh, I know there's been another firm that they're looking for people in New Orleans. I, this, there's a lot of places. I'm working in Homa right now, but this weekend they're sending me out to La Rose, uh, Chauvin, Montague, Cut Off. There's it's tore up everywhere around there. They definitely have a lot of volume out there and they definitely need appraisers out there. Now, as Roy said, there's a ton of work, a lot of people, a lot of IA firms are looking for people to go out and handle claims. Like I said, anywhere from Louisiana to the Northeastern states, New England area, there is work guys. So if you want to get after it, now's the time to go ahead and do it. Um, I can also vouch for the daily side of things. There is a ton of work right now, just kind of mind boggling. So an exciting time for the industry for sure. We still are in hurricane season and it is absolutely not unheard of for a major hurricane to make landfall in October. So we will be keeping a close eye to the tropics for the remaining few weeks of the hurricane season. Back to you, Matt. Thank you, Max. Don't forget that we send Max to the coast to get in the way of hurricanes and provide on-scene reportage that lets you see the storm through the eyes of an adjuster. So stay tuned for breaking news on Adjuster TV. Max also produces award-winning storm documentaries that can be found at adjustertvplus.com. And you can find Max on YouTube at Max Olson Chasing. Okay, that does it for me. You know, I'm a dreamer. I have to dream and reach for the stars. And if I miss a star, then I grab a handful of clouds. Thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.